The Twin Cities are home to over two million people. From downtown to downtown is about nine miles. Today there is no break in the urban landscape between the cities. But it was a much different story in the late 1800s when places like Como and St. Anthony Park were beyond the city limits. St. Paul and Minneapolis each owe their early development to the Mississippi River. St. Paul grew into a busy port situated at the end of the line for steamboats traveling up the Mississippi. A few miles upriver from St. Paul, the Falls of St. Anthony, the only waterfall on the entire Mississippi River, prevented further travel. This barrier for steamboats was a boon to industry. Minneapolis exploited the natural water power from the falls. Sawmills cut hundreds of millions of feet of lumber each year. And flour mills crowded the riverbanks to grind the wheat that arrived by train from the vast western farmlands. By 1880, Minneapolis had claimed two titles for the first time, flour milling capital of the world and the largest city in Minnesota. Minneapolis had grown to a population of nearly 47,000, over 5,000 more than St. Paul. Both cities were growing rapidly, but St. Paul supporters suspected cheating by Minneapolis census takers and were not about to quietly accept second place. When the 1890 census was underway, a U.S. Marshal arrested seven Minneapolis census takers for fraud and confiscated six bags of census returns. Minneapolis newspapers were furious. It means war, read one headline. A dastardly outrage committed on Minneapolis by the St. Paul gang, screamed another. St. Paul papers had a different view. One called it a villainous plot to pad the Minneapolis census by more than 100,000 names. In truth, both sides were cheating. The Minneapolis count included an extra 18,000 or so, including the residents of cemeteries. St. Paul tried to boost their numbers by over 9,000. They counted houses that were not even in the city and listed scores of people living in places like the Union Depot, a barber shop, even 120 people in one small house. The U.S. Attorney General ordered a recount. The final tally showed that Minneapolis was clearly the larger city, 164,000 people to St. Paul's 133,000. Today, Minneapolis remains the bigger city, but St. Paul is just fine with that. They know that second biggest doesn't always mean second best.